What's happening, Report Card? Welcome back to the home of entertainment commentary. It's of course the Report Card. Just smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss when we post and upload. And you are most welcome to sit and to brew this honey with us. Let's get started. So, still keeping up with this whole pot, 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 whatever, pot, let us call it poti story that was trending last week in the streets of Twitter. And Dubai was mostly put on the spotlight. So now Huda comes out because we all know we stay new in that Huda made her home of residence in Dubai since 2020. I think it's just now that she's back in Kenya. And <laughs> now we have no idea what really pissed off a one Huda Monroe. The way she was pissed off because we all know Huda is super opinionated. Huda is the person who, if she feels something is pressing her little pinky toes, she's got speak pain. So now Huda comes out and she puts this sequel of a read on her Insta stories and she's just like, y'all are salty, poverty stricken mouse, church mouses, you people who cannot afford bus fare to even move to the next city or the next bus stop are the same ones yapping about this whole rubbish of people shitting in each other's mouths. What is wrong with that? So anyway, just go right ahead and read Huda's little rant and then let's come back and discuss. Now, guys, let me ask you a very subtle question. Who mentioned Huda's name in any of these extracts? Like, when the thing, in fact, when, when that whole story turned, nobody even had Huda in mind. But from what I'm suspecting and from her read and from how she's been badly pressed by this story, it looks like she felt like her name was going to be dragged. Somewhere, somehow, I'm an like when I'm super. You know those things where you're just like, um, um, and yeah, we've done this before. Maybe at some point when, when we were still young and thirsty, looking to make so much guap, and this was probably the only quick means of making money. This is what we did. So I don't know why y'all are so pressed. And if you've not seen that video of that babe eating shit from some white man's ass, <laughs> yo. Get in the guts. We have to get to shy dogs, to eat someone's shit, to drink someone's pee, to lick someone's butt hole. But if you don't talk, I don't know. Pesas are talking about So, you know. Just like wow, like what I, what kind of drugs do you need to be on for you to do that kind of stuff? Because there is no way anyone is going to convince me that that's a fetish. But like what? Yeah. And then you know you had that some of the spins, you know, they would start complaining and say that they've had some very serious stomach complications. Because you know, a team. It, 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 it's it's more like a, rit a, a ritual, yeah? Like the more you keep eating, you become so immune to it and everything just becomes so normal. And at the end of the day, you're just like me. I just like, 
Like, there's no way you're going to tell me you're going to be a human being after that type of dehumanizing act. So, anyway, let's get back to Huda. So, who mentioned her name in any of those extracts? Who made her feel some type of way such that she had to be up in arms, protesting, and acting as if she is the only hand who has ever been to Dubai? And, by the way, we have to make it super clear to everybody to understand, baby. The fact by virtue of you being this cold pressed and by virtue of you feeling some type of way and feeling like I have to lash out and I have to let people know that this is not what all girls do in Dubai and y'all are just miserable hating hoes. Nobody is miserable. Nobody wants to hate on anyone who is eating poop. <laughs> oh my God, go by. Nobody wants to hate on that. I swear, like, I, I, I am struggling to find anyone who wants to hate on anyone who eats poop to make money. I just don't think anyone in their right senses would, would sit there and feel jealous. Or jealous. Hmm? My jealous. Over someone who is eating poop and licking poop from an Arab's butthole. I, I, I. Ah, let us who on it let us redirect our jealousy if you're out there and you're jealous because you you look at these girls and you're like these girls have made it because of eating poop you have a problem even you please be jealous of other people but not eh? how how and nobody i don't even think anybody saying all the girls who go to dubai that's what they go to do please we didn't say that but me what i do know is when the minute you hear that these Kenyan babes, especially those ones who work in particular clubs here in Kenya, and these Rwandese babes who most of them act as waitresses and you know they call them hostesses. Like when you hear they've gone to Nigeria, click on button, click on button, because Nigeria is like the pimps. Pimps are like this. They are like this in plenty, plenty. Nigerian don't tire with pimp. Give it. And then you, you, yeah, Huda, Huda, honestly, just, just calm down. If this is what you did at some point in life, it's fine. And even now, when she's trying to parade behind, I don't know, her little serums and whatnot, and then she's like, you know what, buy that, and then win a trip to come to Dubai and experience the high life. We are like, what type of high life is that? The one that you told us your knees were cheap at some point. The ones that y'all be posing on some yacht. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We would rather be the ones who are on this side of the club, you know. How you hate me? You can't even get in the club. Look at me now. It's fine. Because if that's the club, if that's the club you want us to get into, what a guy. Atutaki. Now, kuna mbana skilia wivu. Ati mbana mbana kukula mafia muarabu uko. Come. Hmm? What kind of rubbish is this one? This one is talking about. Yeah. So, if any of y'all maybe would be knowing why Huda is this pressed and why she felt like she needed to arrest the whole situation and she just needed to debunk it like it's as if it's a normal fetish and people do it all the damn time. Like why people do it all the damn time? So why are you coming for Africans? Because maybe she's the African she's talking about like I had to do what I had to do at some point. And then she puts out this photo and she's like shitting on them and we're like, no baby, they're shitting on you. <laughs> Do leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Let me know what you thought about this whole story is. And don't forget to subscribe, hit notification bell. And I will definitely see you again in the next room, people. Bye. Thanks for watching.